Well, I tell y'all that as I looked a little bit more over this last cow that I did, wherever I have put it, around here somewhere, y'all did notice that, well, y'all might not have noticed, but I kind of took a closer look and noticed that the tail might still be a little fat, so I think I'm going to do a little bit more work about that. Well, here we kind of come along and get the little tail done in. And while we're on the video, just decide I'll take a little moment, try to work on these other little sets of cow legs, too.
and so finally got another set of legs done out here on each side and I'd say sometimes you yeah, kind of have to take a little look at the previous one and make little comparisons so I'm going to try to do that probably see another place or two that some little bit of extra work ought to be added Now I'd say as far as what we got out here, we kind of got a good amount of work into the legs for what it needs to be, and so kind of make little places here, and kind of came a little bit rest of the ways up to kind of show how little cattle can come right out like that. Run up to them too fast and you'll chase them off. So. I'd like to say that. I think we've gotten good enough detail into the first of these. And probably got. Going pretty far on the second. And. As for this video once it uploads and shows. You'll just see much more, you'll know much more, you'll have a whole lot more to share when it comes down to it. I do believe that as for a little tail on a cow, it just comes like this. And, you know, and I think about old Ferdinand the Bull sometimes, you know, he was just quite a character himself in ways. And 
always kind of meant a lot and said a lot to us and thank all about all that kind of animated computer animated movie that was newer about him it wasn't true to the book it didn't tell the story exactly the same way but we just learn a lot from these little things we read and say and all the things we hear and tell and oh I tell y'all there's just so much happens in folklore and I tell you in all the folk tales and legends and I'd say this is just something we're working on for sure might have to decide what else I'm going to do as far as what I record I keep seeing how I keep putting all these new videos up but don't get quite so many subscribers hoping to get many more over time I, I would always hope as more people kind of come to see my YouTube my Facebook and Instagram pages more people could subscribe to my YouTube as well and probably kind of get it where we can kind of get a good channel going and have a lot to share have a lot to say and just kind of know that we're just reaching out in good ways to those who have really really real needs and I say that for all you all know it's going to be on this little video that you learn new things and learn good things and learn about life in general and all the things we can really teach you about how to carve wood and work with wood and do the little interesting things we do did kind of come along here just to kind of remove some little burns with the knife and that's probably about the place where we're going to end sooner or later and with all I've had to say I appreciate you all coming on and watching hope you will take care and I will see you in the very next video just know that goodbye